think we so. have a uh, special guest in studio Jim Ellison, our old friend Jim Ellison, the mayor in Royal Oak, and the new addition to the team here, Todd Fenton, is a new uh, hire here in the uh, city of Royal Oak as the economic development manager. Yes. And we want to get right to it, guys, because uh, I, I want to hear from you. I'm excited. I'm a Royal Oaker. I love the town I live in. And now we're talking about how to make it even better. I just can't stand it. And I said I was going to tell them off air. I, I, we live and work in Royal Oak, so we know a lot about it. But I thought, oh, I'll go to the city website and see if there's something to add. And there was an About Royal Oak section, which I printed, uh, not knowing it was 22 pages <laughs> long. So. so we need some more ink at the office. Is that what <laughs> yeah. you're saying? Yeah, there's a lot to know about Royal Oak, yeah. apparently. 22 pages worth of stuff. So let's get to it now. I was uh, talking to you, Todd, Todd Fenton, new... Uh, economic development manager welcome yes thank you for having me here. we were talking off air and got into this conversation about when you're an economic development manager how do you know you're doing well I mean where do you start what are you thinking about and I like the way you said you know well we got a lot to build on so let's talk about the foundation from your perspective as an economic development manager the good news there in Royal Oak absolutely Ro Royal Oak has done uh, very well it, it survived the Great Recession um, Royal Oak is uniquely positioned to take advantage of really in terms of economic development what the new trend is and that's for walkable environments where you're bringing similarly situated companies into the area in our case Royal Oak is is undergoing an IT tech boom right now yeah um, not everybody knows that there's a lot going on though oh absolutely we've had over 30 companies open since 2010 and since I've been here um, a little over a month, my phone has been ringing with just interest from other companies and where where do you have space that's available? And uh, to our advantage, Royal Oak has a lot of Class B and C space that is a perfect fit for these sorts of companies. Uh, see, that's that's City Hall speak. What does Class B and C <laughs> space mean? Class A would be your your typical office space that you would see in a city like Southfield. And, and I'll bring up Southfield um, right now because you, you've been reading um, lately that Southfield is undergoing a, a project on Evergreen to make the city more walkable, right. mm -hmm. more urban friendly. Okay, good. In essence, it's emulating what Royal Oak already has. There and, you go. And, and so... Uh, my role as an economic development uh, manager in the city is is not only to attract companies that would be a perfect fit for the identity and, and, and you know the unique energy that Royal Oak has, um, but to keep the businesses that we have in the area right. here and growing and come up with creative ways that, that we can um, use resources that are available either at the state level or the county level or mm -hmm. the city level or the federal level. Federal level, yeah. Um, to assist them with, with what they're doing. And then internally within um, city, um, reevaluate our processes. Are, are we um, are we as competitive with other cities? Are, are we as development friendly as we could be? Mm -hmm. um, in the sense of really being, you know, if, if a business is coming into Royal Oak, we are forming a partnership with you and mm -hmm. we will be very clear in what our timeline is and, mm -hmm. and do our best to match yours. Mm -hmm. And uh, Royal Oak, like I said, is is just, uh, it's an exciting place to land. Yeah, it is. And Jim, Jim Ellison, Mayor Royal Oak.